in this video i will show you how to install laravel 11. so let's get started as we look at the installation of laravel 11. so the first thing is to go to their website this is the laravel official documentation and you can see we have using the latest version which is laravel 11. so we have some previous versions or some old versions but laravel 11 came out this year so uh, some things were changed actually so that is why we are making a video right now to show you how to install the laravel 11. so i'll get to my library so i just create a folder so i will move on to my local dixie zam then htdocs so yeah i can create a new folder here so i'll call this folder uh laravel 11 laravel 11 folder so i will open my visual studio code to oh uh, so that i can easily open the laravel uh, 11 folder that i just created so i click on file open folder so locate my exam hd docs so this is laravel 11 folder that i just created an empty folder precisely okay so i've uh, opened the folder in my visual studio code so the next thing is to run it on my terminal so i'm going to run this package package on my terminal that's the terminal from the visual studio code so let me switch to git bash you can use powershare anyone so i'll click on git bash okay that's good so let me increase the height so that you can easily see this so this is uh, the folder this is my terminal i want to run uh, laravel 11 here so what i need to do the first thing i need to do before running laravel 11 the first thing i need to do or the first thing you need to do is to make sure you have a composer make sure you have a composer and node installed on your machine so how do i install composer so you come here because composer is what will help you to manage the packages in laravel just like what npm is to react and react native with node that is what this guy is to laravel so if you do have composer install your machine please head over to this composer get composer.org and click on download i already have composer installed on my machine so for you if you don't have it just click on this download and run composer setup.exe it's quite straightforward just click on next next and that's all so if you want to check if you have a composer on your machine just put composer i think v so you can see that that it brought me some of the details of the composers in my machine so i'm running a composer version of 2.7.7 that's the composer version that i'm running so and i said something you should also have a node installed on your machine so you should have node.js installed on your machine so to check the version of to check if node is installed on your machine put just simply type node i think v so you can see i'm using the node version 20.12.2 that's the version that i'm currently using so these are the things that you need to have before you start running laravel 11 or any laravel packages or package so after knowing this uh what i need to run that web so the next thing for me to do now is to is to go and what set up my php dot uh, in it my php dot ini that's in it now in previous laravel uh we don't really really go to the uh to the to our apache that was the server to change the in it now when you go to the apache that was the php uh, uh the apache server you have to uncomment where you have the extension where you have the extension equal to zip now let me show you what i'm talking about this is my apache zamp server it's my apache server so yeah i want to what go to the word php.init which is a php config file so i will click on this config button here then i'll scroll down to php.ini in it it's going to open uh, a notepad for me you can also open it on your visual studio code now if you notice if you look here let me uh, increase the font so i can see it better now if you look at this you see this semicolon coming before this text here 
this semicolon is comments actually this semicolon here is just comments that means these text were commented now for laravel 11 one of the things that they say that we should do is towards on comment the extension equal to zip so i'm going to find that extension by using control f and control f to find so extension i'll click on findness to look at to find the extension equal to zip already i've uncommented my before i started this video tutorial i've commented my so i'll look for it so i can show you to you i hope i've not passed it extension equal to zip extension equal to zip extension equal to zip oh let me scroll down zip z okay that was it so you can see here that i have on comments it that means i've removed the semicolon that was before it that was acting like a prefix to it i've removed it so you should also do the same thing laravel 11 demands that or else you you will not be able to run laravel 11. and another thing that you will need to run laravel 11 is towards get the word the seven zip or the unzip uh, file now you're going to go to this website to download and install, download and install this seven z so i'll go to this website which is uh ww dot seven z seven i think zip think seven i sorry seven i think zip dot seven i think zip seven i think zip dot org so go to this website seven i think zip dot org now when you come to this website you have to download any of these I am using a Windows operating system and a 64 bits. So I had already downloaded this. This is for Windows. So if you are using other uh, OS like Linux or others, you can easily scroll and look for the version here. But for now, I think it's only Windows I'm seeing on the screen. I have downloaded that already. So for you, just click here and start downloading. Then you follow the solution from it's, it's straightforward. You just click next, 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 and finish that as well. So if I want to check if I had already installed this seven zip, this seven zip on my machine, I will run this command. So let me run this command to check if I had already installed this seven zip on my machine. So let me even clear this so that you can see the screen better. So I will run this command PHP, PHP I think M, then I'll put this uh, verticals line, then I'll say find string, find string, then zip if you are successfully if you are successfully um, downloaded and installed that uh, zip that seven zip you, and you run this package you will get a zip when you once you press enter so let me press enter oh php um, is that spelling correct let me confirm that uh I will php i think m uh find string then zip okay it's correct so let me use my command prompt to run that package that machine i was running it on the wrong on the wrong part it's supposed to be for my users and um, parts so not from the and uh, the folder the project part so this is the right parts users then slash user this is my local c users and uh, users so this is where i actually install that package on my machine yours can be a different directory or different parts so i will come here and the type that command again php i think I think M, then run this find string, then find string, then I put the zip. If I have successfully installed that seven zip and I press enter, I will get an output of zip. So you can see that zip, it gave me zip. So that means I have run this command. And in total, I have fulfilled the necessary things that Laravel 11 demands from me to install. So these are the things that I need to do before installing Laravel 11. Now that I've completed those things that I need to do before, uh, before installing, I will come to the Laravel documentation, which is this. Then scroll down to install Laravel 11. So when you scroll down under installation, you will see Composer required. Uh, this, sorry, this breeze. Sorry, you click on installations. So I've clicked on the installations. So under this installation, you scroll down, scroll down, and you see creating a Laravel project. So you just copy this command or this link, copy this command, then go to your terminal and paste this here. 
so you can change this example app to anything and just change it to my first laravel 11 installation my first laravel 11 and press enter so make sure you are connected to the internet as well because it's going to download some resources from the internet so you can see that laravel 11 is installing on my machine so you can see that for yourself so let's wait okay that's installing the packages you can see the hundreds of packages that has been installed by this package and uh, by laravel 11 to your machine so we we'll just wait for that to quickly install laravel 11. So it has finished installing Laravel 11. So you can see that for yourself that uh, it has finished installing the Laravel package 11. So after you've installed this, let us check. This is our folder, the place where we installed our Laravel package. Remember the name? We changed that name to my first Laravel 11. So if you click on this folder, you can see numerous folders that were created for us by Laravel. So everything has been made easily for us the app bootstrap the views the resources and everything is there so this is uh how you basically install laravel level so let us run this let's start the development server so i'm going to start the server by saying ph first you have to cd into this folder remember this folder my first laravel level so i have to change the directory to that folder i'll say cd my first laravel level i press enter so to run this command let me play this so to run this command you just put php artisan serve so i'll say php artisan serve and press enter so that is the command by which you can use to run laravel 11 uh, laravel uh, server so make sure your php admin i mean your zam server is on so everything is set so let's go to the browser and put the ports for laravel 11 so I'll say local host 8000, that's the default port of Laravel. And I press enter. Fantastic. So you can see that we have successfully uh, installed and installed Laravel in our app project. So this is how you install Laravel in your project. Please, I uh, hope this is quite simple enough. And don't forget, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our videos.